Uh, hey, you all, everybody out there in this uh, crazy new world, uh, I just wanted to put a little video together for you all to uh, get you set up for remote lessons, because it looks like this may be uh, the way of the world for a little bit. So, uh, a couple things. You probably have everything you need to do this right. One thing you really need is a camera and a screen. All right, so not too bad. So, best bet is a uh, laptop or a PC computer with a with a webcam and for you what you want to do is that you want to set up your camera hey 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 up high a little bit and tilt it down so that's what you are showing and what your teacher can see is your posture your fingers your hands and your wrists uh, PC computer, laptop, perfect for this, uh, with a with a USB webcam. So, not everybody has a USB webcam, and that's okay. We have a fix or a workaround for that, and that is uh, your phone. There it is. Hi, that's my phone. Okay. Uh, so, the program to get, and the program that uh, I use and that a lot of teachers are using, is called Zoom, uh, Z-O-O-M. And uh, with Zoom, you can log in uh, a couple times on different devices. There is an app for your phone. There is a program for your computer. And uh, we uh, can set this up a uh, very good way. So when you choose to join a meeting on your iPhone app, at the uh, top, you'll see an area to enter the meeting ID number. Uh, go ahead and enter uh, my meeting ID number there or your teacher's meeting ID number in there. And uh, in the middle, you'll see a join options. Don't connect to audio. You want to select this. You want to select don't connect to audio. Once that's selected, uh, you hit join, and uh, you will see this. And this is a little preview of your face there. Hello, that's my face. And uh, you're going to click join with video. That is OK. We want the video. What we don't want is the audio for this. So to hear others, please join audio. You click cancel. You just click cancel that, and you'll have no audio uh, coming in or out of your iPhone. At least you shouldn't. I've tested this. It seems to work well for me. So select cancel, and you're good to go. It may take a little bit of uh, makeshifting, uh, stacking some books, or something like that there, something to get that up high. If you uh, have a shelf, uh, it's good to even maybe set that up next to it there. Whatever it takes to get that kind of up and down at you there. If you have any double-sided tape, that can do a good job for it there. If you have some Velcro, that's fine too. Uh, if you have uh, books, stack up some books there. That's great. Up against a wall. Get yourself set up next to that. Uh, you got to probably get a little creative here, but it's not too, too crazy, too difficult to do. I'm sure everybody has some stuff that they can stack to put their camera or their webcam on. Uh, okay, so this is specifically for a piano lesson. A guitar lesson is a little different. If you're doing a guitar lesson, you don't need as uh, much of a um, involved system. If usually if you have a laptop with the camera on it, that's perfect. If you have uh, a tablet, that's fairly perfect too. So if you don't have a uh, laptop or a PC, you might have a television. And uh, if that's the case, what you can do, and hopefully maybe you can do this sooner rather than later, uh, is get a lightning to HDMI output. You can take the video out of your phone and go right into your television with it there. Then you can set up yourself in front of that TV and have a very large screen to view what your teacher is uh, trying to uh, show you they're doing. If we do not have uh, the capability of putting your laptop or uh, your television or monitor behind you, you might have to do a little working around there and trying to figure out something for that, because that is the best bet for this option here. Uh, if not, then if you also have a tablet, you can also log into Zoom again. Doesn't matter how many times you can log into this multiple times. Uh, and utilize that for your screen. If you do not have a tablet, we can still do a lot with just the phone. Some of y'all just have a phone, and that's absolutely fine. 
uh, we can still work a lot of ear training. Uh, we can still get that phone in front of you there and uh, I can hear, your teacher should be able to hear what you're playing well enough to guide you through it. Uh, hopefully in that case you do want that screen fairly close though so that you can see what your teacher is trying to show you there. Uh, if you do only have a phone, likelihood is we won't even have that. Uh, sheet music option there, I'll be sending PDFs your way and uh, let's see. Being able to see the notes is helpful for everybody involved there. So, also the best bet here is to have a wired connection, uh, Ethernet into your laptop or your PC, whatever you have there. Uh, wireless is not as reliable. It can be okay for some who have really good, good internet. Uh, for others, it's a little spotty. It drops. Uh, the quality of the video can kind of suffer a little bit from it there. And uh, we are pretty much good to go then there. So, summary. Camera up, up, tilted down. See your posture. See your hands. screen in front of you with your sheet music next to it there so that you can see your teacher and your sheet music. Zoom is the app to get. Works across multiple platforms there, phone, PC, laptop, whatever you want to use, tablets. Uh, and uh, that's it. If anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to contact me at uh, ian at littlehouselessons.com. Keep jamming out there, keep the faith, and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, back to face-to-face uh, -face lessons again in no time. All right, take it easy. And uh, this is the buddy boy trying to tell me something here. Can I help you, sir? Uh, you're in my microphone. You know that? I'm on my microphone. Hello. I have a microphone there. That's where I'm talking to people on my microphone. What are you doing? That's a microphone. <coughs> you're going to talk? You okay? All right. All right. Teacher can see your posture, your hands on the keyboard, the cat on your shoulder. It's very important to see the cat on your shoulder.